something 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 I've had this video on my mind for blankety blank amount of time Okay, now that we got the typical intro out of the way, yep, the video is on Fiona the Fox, or Fiona Fox. Not really sure which one it is, so I apologize if I got it wrong. But moving on, what will I be talking about that has to do with Fiona? Well, honestly, just a very simple character analysis. Mostly from the fact that there really isn't that many, or almost any at all, of videos discussing this character. There is one, but I'll talk about that later. Which overall surprises me, seeing that Fiona was one of the more heavily involved characters throughout the comics who's exclusive to the comics. Just like Scourge and why I made the video on him. Fiona definitely made herself known for more or less coming back into the story out of nowhere as a hero, I guess? When she joined the Freedom Fighters, then she made it official to be a villain instead, which was better. And I think that's where it starts to become interesting. Similar to Scourge and what he said as well, Scourge is just evil through and through, and he was pretty much born that way, and that goes for all the people who hang around him too. At least, that's just in his nature and what he thinks. Fiona, on the other hand, she completely chose to be evil, when she didn't have to, but did in anyway. Was it right for her to date Sonic for no real reason just to cheat on him a few weeks or a month later? No. Was it okay that she bitch slapped Tails while also breaking his heart in front of his best friend? Albeit, funny for me, which I love using for out of context purposes, the answer is another no. Is it any better that she teamed up with countless criminals to fight against and cause trouble for the people who are just trying to keep peace? No. But the thing is, there's really no absolute universal law saying otherwise, and saying you can't. It really just comes down to one's own morality, which is mostly a case by case basis, which is why the title is what it is. That's the dark side of freedom. Do you have the freedom to do such things? Yes. Should you do them? Absolutely not. But again, you can do them, and that's what Fiona did. A little funny that she even was part of the Freedom Fighters for a hot minute. She certainly had a more twisted and dark sense of freedom. A bit more selfish and self-centered, of course. Most of the things that she did was in the benefit of herself and not many others. Though she did help out others here and there, who were mostly other criminals of course. It's comparable to the parallel that Luffy and Blackbeard have from One Piece. Both are pirates, both clearly have different ways of going about things. Luffy deliberately would take the longer and harder path to get to the One Piece, because that's just how he is. It's more rewarding to him. Blackbeard of course would cheat, backstab, and quote unquote play unfair. But what does that mean to a pirate? You're a pirate. You can literally do anything you want. Anything. That's the meaning of dark freedom. It just comes down to what you personally think is right or wrong by the end of the day. And Fiona, knowing her life and backstory of being in prison, abandoned, and all alone as a child, having to start a life of crime pretty early in her life to survive and get by, that slowly became natural for her. So much so that other people would accuse her for the possibility of knowing something that has ties to her past and her criminal record, even though she never likes bringing it up in the first place. And you know what? If people are going to be like that, yeah, I don't exactly blame her for giving the Freedom Fighters the finger and leaving, because at least she could be with someone and a few people who don't really care about that type of stuff, because they're all in the same boat, and she could at least be free to be herself. And when I put it that way, that's why I kind of like her or don't mind the actions that she took. I can understand why she did it, because she basically says it's totally better to be yourself than being fake, and for Fiona, because the way that she was and how she grew up and everything, it's just better for her to be a criminal through and through, instead of just being fake of someone she's not, which she doesn't mind helping other people, but it's like, by the end of the day, she just thinks this is okay for herself, and that's what it really is. Now I know another thing is that some don't really mind her becoming evil or a villain. It's just that there could have been a little bit more to satisfy everyone. That being a redemption story for her. Because as much as she really did come back into the story out of nowhere and then boom became villain, it could have been complete for her to have that sort of thing. A redemption story. Remember how I said I would bring this video up again? Well, that's the only other Fiona video like this, at least to my knowledge. It goes over how Fiona could have redeemed herself properly, and I think it holds up and it works for her. 
I don't really want to talk about it here because I would basically just be reiterating and summarizing what that person did, you know, when they actually put their thought and work into the video. So I'm not going to really talk about it here. If you want to, if you're interested in that sort of thing uh, on that specific topic, then I'll have the link to that video somewhere on the screen down below, wherever I'll put it. So you can go check that out. Personally, I don't mind if Fiona stayed a villain or got redeemed or not. Honestly, not the biggest deal to me. Though, I would find it interesting for her to stay as a villain. She could maybe recognize what she's done. You know, ultimately try and fix some of the things that she's did. Because I don't think it's... It's going to be pretty hard to do... Like, try and redeem herself or atone for... I guess you could say sins for what she did to the Freedom Fighters and Sonic and Tails specifically, so that'd be pretty hard. Maybe she could probably start to think about those actions later in her life and maybe try and help them out here and there, but maybe I'm just rambling by this point as I always do. But yeah, that's pretty much the Fiona video. It's a little bit shorter because, I mean, she doesn't have that much to talk about, but yeah, I wanted to do this because I brought her up for like a hot second in the Scourge video and thought, yeah. I could probably talk about her, that'd be fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, you know what to do with all the links that I provide and everything of the sort. Stay safe out there. Thank you for watching, that's greatly appreciated of course. Have a great day, have a great night, and everything else you know what to do.